listening to Old Man Metal's Musings, the official podcast of Old Man Metal. Old Man Metal's Musings is a proud part of the Rat Styles Review Network. And now, without further ado... Hey, this is Old Man Metal. Hope everyone's doing well, and welcome to the 12th episode of Old Man Metal's Musings, the official podcast of Old Man Metal. And today we're going to take a look at the top five EPs of 2020, my opinion, of course. And this is the first year that I've actually done an EP list. I've been doing album of the year lists since 2012, but I've never given EPs their due and proper, but we're going to change that today. So thank you for joining me, and thanks to everyone who watched the 11th episode. That was my top 10 metal albums of 2020 show. And like I did in 2019, I shot my New Year's Day countdown on Twitter and edited in some video comments about the albums and made an episode out of it. Unlike the 2019 episode, which I did when I was still getting my new studio set up and I was pressed for time, it looks really damn good. So check it out if you haven't seen it. As always, I want to give a shout out to AJ Nemesis for the theme music. That's a song called Through the Electric Mist. AJ is a great guitarist and an all-around great guy, and he has a new single out on Bandcamp from his upcoming EP, Sonic Assault. So I'm going to put a link to that in the show notes, as well as a link to his YouTube channel, so please go check him out, too. So I said in the write-up for my Album of the Year list on OldManMetal.com and on the last episode as well, 2020 was the year of the EP. There were so many top-notch EPs, and especially so many top-notch debut EPs, that I had to put together a top five list. There was just no way around it. And it turns out that four of my top five are debut EPs, and the other one's a second EP, so this also doubles as a new band to watch episode as well, and I'm all about efficiency. So, without any further ado, my favorite EPs of 2020. Coming in at number 5 is Under Siege from Toronto. Under Siege raises the age-old existential question, what is an EP really? At 8 tracks in 22 minutes and 37 seconds, it's an EP according to RIAA standards and an album according to Grammy and UK charting rules. Metal Archive says it's an EP. Discog says it's a full-length album. The label splits the difference and calls it a mini-LP. Regardless of where you categorize it, and I went with Metal Archives, The Swedish band Toronto gives us an excellent sophomore release, chock full of black speed metal that follows Midnight's basic recipe of motorhead plus venom plus high speed sleaze, making it their own with a defining hardcore influence and the occasional traditional metal flash of Priest or Dio. The title of the intro track, Fast and Filthy, is prescient as black speed metal, sleazy swaggering blues rock fueled leads and kinetic hardcore riffs and drumming stoke the firebox on a careening hellbound locomotive of a disc that is the epitome of fast and filthy. My favorite track is Ride the Rails. Taking the number four slot, we have Deora Mortis. Deora Mortis is the first release from Houston death metal crew Paingiver, who are so underground that even Metal Archives doesn't know much about them. What we do know is that their debut EP is four tracks of excellent death metal that seamlessly incorporates a lot of different parts of that far-flung beast, from morbid OG cavernous death doom to old-school Swedish death metal to thrashy, crushing, martial modern Euro death riffing to exotic techish passages. This is death metal for anyone who likes death metal. There is something here for everyone. The production is an admirably effective blend of dirty cavernous depths and a tighter, more punchy modern sound, Like the music itself, it's a great combination of old and new. The quality of the material and its execution make the fact that this is a debut inconceivable. But there you go. My favorite song is the title track, Deorum Mortis. In at number three, we have Monarchy of Mold. Monarchy of Mold is the first EP from Maul, following three demos, a single and a split. Hailing from North Dakota, they play bludgeoning, crunchy, riffy, mostly mid-paced old-school death metal that's not afraid to mosh it up or death doom or chug the fuck out. 
and all those additions masterfully heighten the visceral effectiveness of the music by counterpointing the mid-tempo riffing. They also greatly increase the risk of vertebral damage. The production is a nice balance between old-school cavernous filth and a more modern big-as-life sound that combined get the most out of the music while staying true to the dissecting room metal that spawned it. Recorded over a weekend in late 2019, this debut EP is a very auspicious start. It's a harbinger of many mace bashings to come. My favorite track, Secession Embraced. Runner-up for EP of the Year at number two is Piles of Festering Decomposition. This is also a debut EP. In fact, it's the first release of any sort from Cleveland Death Metaler's 200 Stab Wounds. Originally a three-track digital outing, it's already seen a few different re-releases. The most recent October CD version includes a carcass cover and four original tracks of deeply cavernous, pestilential death metal that's so riffy and chug-infested, you'll be left wondering how they fit so much lethality into such short songs if you survive. The riff construction makes optimal use of the bits and pieces available to the autopsy-inspired musical mortician, combining them seamlessly into sick, monstrous Franken-riffs that are made all the more pernicious by their connective tissue of momentum-defying tempo changes and breaks. This EP is fully the equal of the best work of bands with years of subterranean death metal depravity under their belts. It's absolutely unimaginable that this is a debut, but it is. My favorite track, She Was Already Dead. And that excuse does not work. And the EP of the year is Complete Blinding Darkness from Grave Ripper. Indiana's Grave Ripper play a vicious blend of black thrash speed that lands somewhere between Wraith and Toxic Holocaust, plus a heavy dose of black metal riffing that creates a goat horror or disaster vibe in some places. Formed in 2018 as Death Ensemble, with a demo under that name, Complete Blinding Darkness is Grave Ripper's debut EP, consisting of three top-notch tracks that hit dead center bullseye at the center of their hybridized musical territory, blending the best and most compelling elements of thrash, black metal, and speed metal into an unstoppable elemental musical force. This triple shot of metal is a perfect example of the 2020 year of the EP phenomenon, and it's proof positive that Grave Ripper are a band to watch. My favorite track? Bite of a Parasite. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining me today and listening to me talk about my favorite EPs from 2020. Next up, I'm going to do something different topic-wise, since these last two episodes were all metal, and I'm going to get to use the new overhead camera for that. And if you haven't seen the little test edit that I did with it, I'll link it up above. For now, I hope you enjoyed my top five EPs of 2020. If you did, please take a second and give the video a like. That's really important, and it's an easy way to say thank you for all the work that went into this episode, which was quite a bit. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Just click on the subscribe button and then click the notification bell. In closing, for this time, I'm Old Man Metal. Thanks again for joining me. If you enjoyed it, tell your friends. If your friends don't like it, get new fucking friends. Until next time, keep those horns up high. Y'all take care. depicted as the intellectual property of the copyright holders. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead is a goddamn shame. Thank you for joining us.
looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news, as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast, with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for Those Who Love Politics. A South Park podcast called Suck My Balls. The Infinite Fringe. A watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido. Ex Stradivarius guitarist, the Timo Tolki podcast. And the great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcast and the Laughcast. So check out RatsoundReview.com or search Rat Sound Review on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.